Come on, boys, we have to beat it a tire. Don't know how we're gonna fix that. If this cone gets hit and knocked over, that is plus two seconds, one cone. As a worker, you're gonna grab that knocked over cone. You're gonna hold it up quick. Right, guys got a couple clips in we were out here for autocross there was 92 drivers today 92 that is way more like than i've ever what I at it this morning. what well only, right now it says 92 maybe it's 92 cars and 112 drivers i don't know either way there's a lot going on each run group's taking about an hour and a half i'm in a third run group I already i worked the track for the first run group so that's already over with now I'm back at the car, getting things prepped. I need to check tire pressures and mark the tires for rollover. And uh, that's about it. I set up some favorites in the menu here. There's a favorite option. So I went into all of the nannies to turn off and there's a lot. Um, but the main one, which is the Audi Presense, like if you get, get too close to something too fast, it'll break for you and stuff. That one, it doesn't allow you to set as a favorite. So it's kind of stupid, but it, the, all of them stay off, well, I think all of them will stay off permanently when you do that, but the Audi Presense comes back on every time you restart the car. So after every lap, I'm gonna make sure that it's off again. I'm also co-driving, well, I have a co-driver, my buddy Brian, that I work with at Volkswagen. He's also gonna drive the car today. Um, I don't know how that's gonna do. I might have to limit him on laps, depending on how hot the tires and the brakes get, because you know, we're stock fluid, stock pads. So I don't know how the brakes are gonna react, but. The fastest cars are so far today are the Porsches and they're going in the 36s, 36-37s. Um, the one actually could have hit a 35 when he messed up. So in the RS3 here, he did a, RS3 was like, what, a 38? Yeah, so my goal was to be faster than the RS3. I don't know if it's tuned or anything yet. I'm gonna try and find him after this. Um, his car looks really nice, so, but I don't, I don't know what's all it looks like wheels and tires but i saw the hood open stock intake so i don't know if it's tuned or anything but it sounds really good out there we are on the pilot uh ps4s or the michelin ps4s and i don't know exactly where to set tire pressure so i'm gonna see where they're at now probably bring them down to like 32 ish is normally what i do and then after every lap i'll check them we have plenty of time between laps so um, i'm hoping at least I'm hoping so because now I have a co-driver so it's going to be be running at the beginning and in the middle of the session so I'll be able to get some in-car footage with him driving and then I'm going to hook the GoPro to the front GoPro on the back and uh, hopefully she can get some decent uh, footage from the sideline but today is just like the main shakedown see how we like it after this event we're ordering the camber plates from 034 we're putting in all the Verkline stuff for the rear end the, the toe arms camber arms um spherical bushings in the knuckle and the wishbone and the um what else something else anyway all the Verkline stuff's going in after this steering wheel will be here for the next event camera plates uh, a good alignment and i don't know what else we'll have by then oh i'll probably have to do at least fluid um i don't know when lines are coming out or pads o34 is coming out with rotors that are actually directionally vented these are like swappable from left to right they're not direction so only one of these um rotors actually catch the air the proper way so anything else i think that's all i got for now so i'll catch back up with you guys in a bit it's a quick walk around of the car so we can look back at this at the end of the season 
We've got the roll control ball joints, racing line springs, 034 end links front and rear, 034 sway bar, you got the Titan T5 wheels, TS05 or TS5 wheels, PS4S's, got the rigger diffuser back there, working line trailing arms. whole lot of driver mod intake inlet that's all we got for power EQT grounding kit real quick here guys this is my run group got the cam cars and the X cars all wheel drive cars nice cam up this thing is dope check that out boom GT250 Integra, nice. Mini, a nice Mustang. This this car was the number one car in its class last year. Turbo, Volvo, all wheel drive. This boy. Yeah. Thing's dope. Thank you. My favorite's here. Beautiful. This thing's wild. Supercharged. Crazy. for us in the class and overall so i said i'm trying to aim for the r to beat that rs3 i think he got a 37 four is what he said or something like that so i want to get in that 37 range i think the fastest car so far is like a 36 so the camera up <laughs> damn whoo that was hotness something like that wow okay so first two laps in the car brian obviously drove the first one i didn't record my first one i got a 38.7 he got a 37.3 this car is phenomenal i should have um checked tire pressures between the two uh, the tire pressure went up like four psi on those two runs alone so when i go back up again i'm gonna make sure i'm checking checking tire pressure every time we were just so excited talking about how quick the car is the car feels great and i mean great I and mean, there really isn't all that much done to it suspension wise and we got a whole lot more to do and the front end really isn't even pushing like the rear end is coming out more like, I, I didn't really experience much understeer it was more oversteer than anything and it was controllable which was great i hesitated more than one spot on the track so there's definitely some time to be made. I did hit a cone, but I didn't knock it over. He hit a cone, knocked it over. So he got a plus one. But uh, he also, he helped build the track. So he works these events and he's a volunteer. So I got a really good guy to uh, to follow for these. So. Say hi, Brian. We'll get, um, yeah, we'll get this next clip on the front of the car and go from there. This is just amazing. I can't imagine what the car is going to feel like with a tad more camber and the rear end locked in. And this is with a, uh, you know, an eyeball toe adjustment up front after the ball joints. So my toe isn't even even up front. And uh, yeah, I think that's it.
Well, boys, we debated a tire. Don't know how we're gonna fix that. Real quick again, guys, here she rolls up with the tools, de beaded the tire, roll the tire in there. Say I drove the tires off it, I guess. Uh, it's called Bryce Jordan Productions. Bryce Jordan Productions. If you just type in Bryce Jordan Racing or anything like that, you'll find me. I'll be the first one to pop up. That is crazy. Yeah. It, it doesn't look damaged, though. Oh, I'm about to find out really once it pops off all the way. So on my iPhone, um, update. We just went to the tire shop, got the tire fixed, holding there, everything's good. We're gonna get back to racing. They said I could finish my runs with the last heat. Um, wow, like how does that even happen? Like that's crazy. Hit a pothole, you beat the tire, and the, the literally the tire folded in on itself and both like beads were, were kissing in the middle of the wheel. So it, like if you were to grab the tire by the top and like make the two sides touch on the inside, that's what happened. Crazy, like super crazy. The guys there were super cool. They didn't even charge me for fixing the tire real quick. And we are almost back to the track and we'll finish up our runs. Hopefully they let me rerun that, that number two because I only had one good run um, with me dr driving. Brian had two, I had one. So it had three and a half laps on it and defeated that tire. So I don't think it has anything to do with air pressure, but I am. it was a 32. And you could see like, you mark the sidewall, you can see where the tire like rolls over and it wasn't rolling over like much that probably could have lowered it more but uh, i'm just going to keep it a little bit higher uh, just to be safe and really watch out for that pothole in that corner Whew. the car is phenomenal though i don't even know what i would do with more power it could use a little bit more camber and obviously the stuff in the rear end is going to help a lot but the car feels great i mean for minimal mods this this thing's awesome and i like this a lot more than having a manual car i would not be anywhere near as fast if it was a manual this dsg is Just did my second actual lap. Car did good. I just, uh, I took a little easy. Plus I had a, a random guy came to me at the start line and they asked if he could ride with me. And I was nervous because of the whole tire situation, but we're gonna attack it. That was a 39.2, my good lap. My first lap was a 38.7. So we gotta beat 38.7. I wanna get into the 37s in general, but the car is actually handling heat very well. Like everything is like, not stupid hot like I'd expect it to be. That's really good. Really happy. did my second to last lap put it back in dynamic i had an individual with everything set to sport but the suspension i had that set the balance to maybe help in the corners a little bit and i just got my best time without hitting cones the 38 5. i really want to get into the 37s i've had traction just one click instead of fully off i had traction sport i'm gonna turn traction off completely even though i don't feel like it's interfering and i also don't feel like i need it and there's no spots where i'm gonna like spin out or Feel that it needs to intervene so we're doing full off and dynamic and uh put the tire pressures back 
just a hair over of what they were when the tire debeated. So hopefully this last lap will be a good one. I'm like nervous though. So I'm like, I'm gonna get this, my nerves are just bugging me. <laughs> sitting here editing this video i'm seeing the places where i messed up and i wish i would have reviewed some video while i was there to make myself faster i need to re re put that in my notes to remember next time to watch some footage closely and uh try and perfect those sections that i can do better in but for the condition that the car is in i shouldn't say condition but the mods that the car has so far and being the first time out in the car i'm not making excuses I still didn't, I didn't make the time I wanted to make. I really wanted to beat that RS3. Shout out to him. He's a really cool guy. Uh, there's no tune on it. I think it was just wheels, tires, and a muffler delete. Anyway, um, the car did phenomenal for what it is. I really don't like those Michelin Pilot Super Sport PS4S, wherever they are. I do not like those. I really want to get back to uh, like an RE71R type tire or even just throw on a full on slick. On a second set, set of wheels, I think that'll be the move. Um, but I'm gonna have to get like a real alignment. Like I said in the video, my I just did like a garage toe, and it's definitely not even. And I don't even. I think it's still like towed out a little bit. Um, and the rear end, with the, when, once all that stuff gets in, it'll be super dialed. I think tires will be the biggest thing now. And then obviously just getting more seat time in the car. Um, and it's also my first time out in a DSG car, so there was a lot of firsts. And uh, this, the tire popping off in that corner really was messing with my head. Anyway, I'm not trying to make excuses. It sounds like I'm making a lot of excuses. I had a, I had a great time. It was awesome. Um, Brian actually beat me, I think, by like 0.4, um, which is kind of embarrassing, kind of not. It's kind of cool to see what someone else can just hop in a car and do. Dude's been racing for a long time. He's, he's a really good driver, and he helped set up the course. Um, so shout out to him. That was fun. And uh, just shout out to Kaylin. Uh, we had Baby Ryland there as well. You know, baby did great. Kaylin was awesome. Being, she got the tools out there and recorded and just was very supportive the entire time. And it was a very long day. It was almost 12 hour day out. I think it's the longest we've ever had the baby out of the house at all. So it's the longest she's ever been outside. That's for sure. But uh, this coming weekend, we should be going to the drag strip as long as it's not raining. And she's bringing her M3. And, um, yeah, just look out for that. And the steering wheel should be showing up this week as well. And uh, Verkline stuff soon. Uh, I'm going to quit talking. We're going to do a follow-up video about this day, talking about uh, the 034 parts and the Verkline stuff that's already on the car. So we're going to look out for those. Thanks for watching, guys. If you make it this far, drop me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And I'll catch you on flip-flop.